here we go y'all heading out on the first adventure of the fall of 2023 loaded up got all my stuff in here i'm headed to wyoming y'all uh, leaving a couple days early this one's gonna take my time Didn't ease that way might do a little scouting uh, sandy's coming in a couple days she's finna fly and i'm gonna pick her up at denver but we finna go on an antelope hunt in wyoming so here we go let's get her started here and like i said there's just going down my driveway I always like starting like this because it's adventure don't know what we're gonna get into i hope i hadn't forgot anything because i've got her stuff and my stuff and i checked the list off for left and i think i got everything and here we go folks i am headed to memphis right now i'm just gonna get on an airplane and fly to denver denver colorado can't talk this morning uh to meet jeremy we tagged drew tags for an antelope hunt and he went ahead and drove out there but i'm gonna fly out there and so i'm on my way i'll let y'all know when i get there here we go Finally made it, huh? Finally made it. <laughs> oh, they didn't. Dang, the parking lot's full. Oh. The law been running us off. <laughs> they wouldn't let you park nowhere, huh? Mm, had to go for those main loops. All right. Well, there's total construction on both sides. I mean, it, we just come through a little construction zone and the plane landed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you here? We're here. We're here. <laughs> It's a good beautiful trip. day. I had a I had a great trip. Had to get patted down. <laughs> the security <laughs> at Memphis. These Duluth pants have too many zippers in the middle of the tractor kept going off. Well, they just like go through it again. I'm like, hmm. She's like, come here, I gotta pat you down. I'm like, okay. There's the super out back, Daddy. Well, Georgia. Georgia folks. Alright, we headed that way now, y'all. All right, y'all, we finally made it to the unit wing hunt. We're just gonna ride around and see what we see this evening before it opens. Uh, I've hunted that side of the unit. I hadn't hunted this side, so I thought, hey, man, ride around and see if there's any on this side, so. Like I said, you gotta really watch your maps and know where you're at, because it's just, just a few state sections and BLM sections. So, let's get to start looking. six bucks together there. That's showing you all I knew I hadn't seen just a couple bucks and both of them was by themselves. And this water bachelor bucks together so like I said September the first or this is August thirty first so they're they're not with the does yet. I found something though. Pretty sunset. I like that sunset. We'll go find us a place to stay for the night, pull over, car camp, and get our stuff ready for in the morning. Oh. Oh. You sleep pretty good? I slept okay. About ready to get up and get after. So. The wind's howling at you. It is howling. I'm going to go in here and do this a little bit. <clears throat> Not sure before we got started, we got our license out. Checking them. Had to sign them in one spot. And it had a checklist here of what you check off before you go hunting. Yeah. You need proof of hunter's ed if you was born after January 1, 1966. So, we're both born after that. <laughs> I got a hunter's ed card. Standing like, I can look mine up. So, she, she's trying to find her on Mississippi Game Fishes. Because she's got one. She just hasn't got She's just going to find it here. Now, 30 minutes later, she finally got her card here. So, first morning, we Stop. sat here trying to <laughs> get somebody's hunter's ed card. Yeah. We hadn't checked the jet out. I guess I do good to keep my own stuff. So. 
But it's right here. I have it. Right here. I have it. <laughs> but I did see a goat way up on the hill, way over here a while ago. I'm talking about way on that skyline. So we're, there's some goats around here. So we get all of our stuff ready here. We'll be ready to go. I know we're starting to find some. That one right that there. middle is huge. Like a pretty big one out here, but he's on private. Public just right back there, though, so we'll be right around and see what else we can find. <sighs> All right, we found a pretty good one here, but he's on private. But there's public right on both sides of him. We just have to keep an eye on him. He got a water doze. He's just laying there down in that draw. You say you chewed him? Yeah, you get dark horns and tall from the side. We're gonna ride around and see what else we find, but we just know where generally he's gonna be at. Uh, we rode around this morning and seen several antelope. Uh, several where we could hunt and several right off where we could. You can't hunt, but a lot of times you wait on them. They move back and forth, especially open the season like this. I've seen just a couple pickups in here. Uh, I don't know if they're muzzleloader hunt. I haven't seen any orange yet. Uh, archery season open today too. Like I said, I don't think there's been many tags in there for muzzleloader, so we're gonna ride around to another section over here and just look. But like I said, I do like that back there for them. There's a water aloe back there. It's a pretty good hike around to get in there too. Um, but Let's see what else we can find first, but we lie end up back there. <laughs> Alright y'all, we got our gun loaded. Not one in the, not a cap on it, but we got the, got a powder in our bullet in there. Got our orange. I think we got our camera system where I can grab a camera and if we get you nothing bunch that does that. Okay. Yeah, I'll just backed up. Well, we're done, but we didn't know how big they were until we looked at them a little bit, but that's one thing about the antelope, it's sort of hard to... Judge them. Judge them, yeah, you don't know what's a bigger one. Well, but we're a little bit, we're getting closer. We're getting, we're seeing stuff now. So let's see what we find. We drove on around this road a little bit, and we seen some antelope way off. The way them went a while ago, and it was four bucks together, so I feel like it was the same ones. We was two above them, and then four. Mm -hmm. It's like it's walking to them, so I feel like that's them. I think Sandy won't shoot one in my rack, but <laughs> they, like I said, they're, they're different. They're, they're definitely different. And I think they're in a place we may make a play on here, so we're going to walk over this hill, part of the vehicle clear, and go over. Because the winds are going to be blowing perfect, so let's get all of our stuff lined up in. See what we do here.
Now we got back to the vehicle out of the wind. I'm talking, talk now anyway. Sandy says she's hungry, so we got a ham sandwich here. Yeah, we wasn't in the right spot. Just didn't nothing work on that there. Nothing worked right. But they serve well up here though. So I'll tell them when they serve well, I get you. You can mess up on them. So let's get us something to eat and we're going to hit the road and see if we find another. All right, we're going to try another stall. Mm -hmm. We've seen about neither of them in this near, but I know there's one pretty good buck in a bunch. They're like 30. Yeah. We've seen them feed over a hill. We didn't have the camera, but we walked out there and looked over a hill all ago and we seen them. And we drove way around this road, probably a three quarters of a mile, and we're on the front side of it now. So let's try stalk number two, see what we want to do. think about it. <laughs> it was an all day adventure but I finally got one. <laughs> she a little disappointed missing that a while ago but that was I pretty was bad disappointed. <laughs> that's a pretty tough shot that wind blowing like that. She had the elevation it just it kept drifting on her. Yep. Just right here she smoked him. Well, like I said though. How many yards was this one? It was 200. 200. Right, it was 200. I told her to put a second line on it. She's jotting it. Like I said that wind was sort of blowing more towards us. Yep. So, but you know one thing about these antelope hunts you know, they can be a fun family trip. Yeah, this was this was definitely something that you could do with you know your wife, your kids. Um, the I mean, I looked at my phone while going. I've walked five miles today, but it wasn't bad walking. I mean, we've been up and down some hills and 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 up and down different draws and different things. Um, but we've been at it all day too. <laughs> well, and filming too. We knew we couldn't just step out yeah. of the vehicle off the road and and get off the we ditch and shoot one. Sure we yeah, so this deer worked nice out good. Yeah. I didn't put slip on us on that side. Like, we sure don't know where did. they went. <laughs> we topped the hill on this, and I could see his horn. I thought it was him, yeah. one of them two, but it nice wasn't because it wasn't one of them. Like I said, got some good curls on him. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's a good. I'm tickled. Go. Yeah. I'm tickled. Yeah, that's what I think about a muzzleloader hunt, y'all. It's early. We hadn't run. We run into a couple other guys we just seen riding roads. Really? Yeah, not not many people out here at all. Uh, 
but they're not many tags neither in the muzzle loader. Uh, so I, I like going after tags like that. It takes several years to draw them, though. But when you draw it, I think we figured up it took about five years. Yeah, I think we had five points. Uh, so, so had a ball. We had a good time. We had a good time. Now it's your turn. Oh, we'll get, we'll get after it here. <laughs> uh, like I said, hey, if you like it, hey, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, Miss Andy's got her antelope. That's, that's the second one you killed. It's my second antelope. Yeah. My second antelope. First one she killed it on her road, went a mile that way. Yeah. So, but now we got to get them worked up for you. That's, <laughs> that's the key to when you get one shot. Yes. Get the guts out of them, get them cooled down quick because they, they smell like a billy goat, y'all. So, um, they do stink. <laughs> so, I'm finna get working them up in. We, now we're finna tag him out first. Oh, yes, we gotta do our tags. Whoop. Yeah. We've got license. Yeah, we got our license and everything. Main thing, you just gotta tear the carcass. Tag off. Sign it. That's mine. Now it's mine there. Okay. Alright, Good night, we think I did that with. Okay. <laughs> A Danny Metcalf sent me this knife, y'all. Man. I figured out where it's stuck in. stuck in one of these pockets. Alright, I signed it.